Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Friday spot here in Pagan's Perspective. This week we'll be talking about, I, f I feel like we've talked about this again or I've talked about this or something similar to this, but anyway it's still different from what I remember talking about wherever I talked about it. Anyway, this week we're talking about um, Christian witches, Christian pagans, um, specifically someone asked how we felt about them, a pagan, um, going to a Bible study because they enjoyed the text. And they also asked uh, what we felt that we could learn about divinity through the Bible or Christian mythology type things. Um, first question, uh, what do I feel about you going to a Bible study? Hey man, do whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. If they don't really care, which, judging by the message that he said, uh, he said that they had discussed his beliefs or their beliefs or whoever this person is. Um, they discussed their beliefs with him and they decided that uh, they weren't going to completely be like, oh, well, you're going to hell. The Christian people decided this. And so this person wants to continue the Bible study. More power to you, do whatever you like. Uh, as for what would you learn about divinity from it, that's really, I don't know, that's up to you, <laughs> in a way, because, like, I don't know, and I'm probably going to get bashed for saying this, but this is called Pagan Opinions, and keep in mind that this is an opinion, but I find the Christian mythology, um, whenever we strip it from all the homophobia and sexism and stuff like that, I'm talking about people who I would consider followers of Christ, not necessarily Christians, because Christ was much more loving and accepting and just hippie-like than a lot of the Christian teachings are in the Bible, and a lot of the passages are in the Bible, especially the Old Testament, but there's some really messed up stuff in the New Testament as well. So, if you take out all that messed up stuff, assuming, and you leave just like the loving kindness stuff, um... I just feel like Christianity is the very basics of the divine, if that makes sense. I feel like Christianity is the beginning of exploring spirituality. But the reason I probably feel like this is because I started out as a Christian, and so for me, Christianity was like my baby steps, and then like, and I'm going to get slandered for this again, but... I grew out of it. Like, I grew out of Christianity. I got to the point where I was like, something seems weird here. I don't like this anymore. And I started to explore other options. And I think there's so many options out there besides Christianity that I feel Christianity almost pointless. But, do I think that somebody can be a Christian and a pagan? Yes. Do I think that somebody can be a Christian and a witch? Yes. As long as these people recognize that the Bible is not 100% accurate, I don't care what they do, and I think that their beliefs are still justified. Um, any Christian who believes that the Bible is 100% accurate, I kind of dislike it anyway. I basically just feel like you could discover more about your spirituality and yourself and just, you know, the world and the divine through studying multiple different cultures and not just sticking to one. Um, there might be one or two that you feel more connected with and kind of stay in, but I think exploring other cultures is a necessity if you are trying to discover the divine and learn about the divine and what the divine is and spirituality in yourself and growing and things like that. I think it's important to look around at other cultures. But if Christianity is working for you, more power to you. I actually think Christianity is a very great mythos. It's all about compassion and love and accepting your neighbor and loving each other like you love yourself. And um, I don't necessarily agree with the hell or um, their view on good and evil because I don't necessarily think it's that black and white. But hey, I'm not a Christian, so yeah. Um, if it works for you, more power to you. As long as you are not a douchebag, I will not be a douchebag to you. <laughs> and uh, yes, I still consider you pagan. So, thanks for watching, and blessed be.